we're asked to evaluate the indefinite integral, the integral of the fourth power of sine two x. Because we have an even power on sine two x, we make repeated use of the half angle identities or the power reducing formulas shown above. And since sine squared x is equal to one half times the quantity one minus cosine two x, the fourth power of sine two x is equal to the square of one half times the quantity one minus cosine four x. Notice how we double the angle from the left side of the equation to the right side of the equation. So again, we have the integral of the square of one half times the quantity one minus cosine four x. And now we need to square this quantity. One half times one half is one fourth, which gives us the integral of one fourth times, and then we have two factors of one minus cosine four x. And now we need to multiply this out. We have four products, one, two, three, and four, which gives us the integral of one fourth times the quantity. We have one minus cosine four x minus cosine four x, which is minus two cosine four x. And then we have plus cosine squared four x. And now we need to make a substitution for cosine squared four x using the identity cosine squared x equals one half times the quantity one minus cosine two x, which means cosine squared four x is equal to one half times the quantity one plus cosine eight x. And now we need to simplify. We have one fourth times the quantity one minus two cosine four x. Distributing the one half, we have plus one half plus one half times cosine eight x. And now let's clear the parentheses by distributing one fourth. We have the integral of, notice inside the parentheses we have one plus one half, that's three halves. One fourth times three halves is three eighths. And then we have minus two fourths cosine four x, which is minus one half cosine four x. And then we have one fourth times one half cosine eight x, which gives us plus one eighth cosine four x. And now let's continue on the next slide. Because we need to perform u substitution to integrate the second term and third term, let's write this as three separate integrals. We have the integral of three eighths minus one half times the integral of cosine four x plus one eighth times the integral of cosine eight x. U substitution is not required for the first integral, but for the second integral, notice u is equal to four x, and therefore differential u is equal to four dx. Dividing both sides by four, we have one fourth du is equal to dx, which means in terms of u, we have one half times one fourth times the integral of cosine u du. And then for the third integral, we have u equals eight x, and therefore differential u is equal to eight dx. Dividing both sides by eight, we have one eighth du is equal to dx. So in terms of u, we have one eighth times one eighth times the integral of cosine u du. Now we can go ahead and integrate. The integral of three eighths with respect to x is three eighths x. And then we have minus one eighth times the integral of cosine u, which is equal to one eighth times sine u, giving us minus one eighth sine four x, since u is equal to four x. And then we have plus one sixty fourth times the integral of cosine u, which gives us one sixty fourth sine u, which is one sixty fourth sine eight x. And of course, plus c for the constant of integration. I hope you found this helpful.